Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden here today with Paul Kidwell and The Box. The Box. This is Mr. Kidwell's Christmas peasant because Mr. Kidwell arrived a day late and I had nothing to do. So I figured I would demonstrate the most epic wrapping of a Christmas present in history. Now it took the entire staff about three or four hours to do all of this and pretty much everybody was involved in something. Because things come apart a lot quicker than they go together, I don't expect it to take nearly that long, but I do expect it to take too long for anybody to want to watch on here. Okay. So right now, people are watching live over there, tuned okay. into the live stream, and I'm going to be shooting some blog of this, and the blog is usually a long form type thing anyway, so we'll do that, but we're gonna time lapse this, and people can enjoy that here on the production video. Okay. All right, cool. So this is your Christmas present, and that's all I'm going to tell you. I will be here to offer advice to make sure you don't do anything bad, okay. but beyond that, you're on your own. I need to know how to raise and lower this. I can put it down for you. I, I think I'm going to need to raise Actually, this. Actually, I think that should be part of the puzzle. Me figuring yes. that out? You can't raise it any higher. It's as high as it goes. That's fine. I wanted to have it up in the rafters, but it wasn't feasible. That's as high as it goes. So. All right. You guys have fun. We are now on the time lapse. See you on the other side. I'll be back. So that took three hours. Three hours. Yeah. <laughs> you get all the way through everything. And what do you got? I got a ring puzzle, which actually isn't that hard to do. Yeah, it's that's, that's a five easy. interlinked rings. And then this one, which you had messed up on me, which is two hourglass formed letter H's kind of thing that pass through each other. And I assume the two pieces need to come out, and it appears to be a two-part puzzle. You get them so that they're separated, so you link one ring to the other, and then get them apart from there, at least I think. I'm willing to bet you have to get it to that point, and then back to something like this, and then back out again. Number three is 
what appears to be a three-segment ball inside two rings, and I haven't even found the first step on this one yet. I assume... Yeah, that one's hard. I assume you have to, uh, like that nut puzzle in the... Uh, actually, you don't even need tape to keep this one from falling apart. I assume it's similar to the nut puzzle in the lobby, where you have, like, a track you have to get things through. This one I haven't even found any. Aside from these two outer rings that spin, I haven't found anything that moves. Okay. So, but let me think, Sean. Well, that one I don't think you're going to get the next step on. This one here is similar to the one that's got the double H's. Yeah. It's just it's a harder. single ring, and it does look harder because rather than just one set of tracks, there's multiple tracks that you can spin it through. And then the final one is a ball inside a well, section of a cube, like the middle third out of a cube. I think you got to get the ball lined up just right before you can start turning the other parts. So, all in all, very nice Christmas presents. Thank you very I much. I thought you'd appreciate it. For the wrap-up, that is the unwrapping, the epic unwrapping oh. of Mr. Kibble's Christmas present, 2015. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, that helped. Merry Christmas, Mr. Kidwell. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to all of you. Have fun. See ya.